angry atheists from the Freedom From Religion Foundation, well, they thought that they were going to get the last laugh and try to shut down prayers before high school football teams at one Tennessee high school, but they have another thing coming. Let's talk about it. Welcome, guys, to The Conservative Truth. If you don't mind, really quick, giving this video a like. Share it across all of your platforms to help me spread the word, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to enable notifications so you never miss a new video whenever one is posted. But students at Rockvale High School in Tennessee, they are rallying against a complaint made by the atheist group when they complained that the coach, Rick Rice, of the football team was leading prayer before the football games had started. Now, because of this complaint, Coach Rice had to go to the principal, had to apologize for his actions because the atheists say that he's violating the Constitution and he can't be leading this team in prayers. That is just a big, big no-no. He can't do that. Remember, the Freedom from Religion Foundation, they are the moral authority of America and they tell us Christians, you know, what is wrong and what is right. So, you know, we have to listen to them at all times. So after Coach Rice went ahead and said that he would no longer host the prayers, the students, they rose up and said, you know what, we're not just going to sit here and let this happen. We're going to defend the honor of our coach. We are going to continue the prayers on our own, despite what atheists may think. So what they are going to be doing from going forward, this point forward, this Friday, as a matter of fact, they are going to be forming a prayer circle at 6.30 p.m. before the start of the game, and they are going to be hosting their own opening prayer session before kickoff and they said that they will continue to do this for as long as the season lasts most of the entire team is just not happy with this complaint at all they don't think it's deserved they think it's absolutely ridiculous they said that you know we meet in these prayer groups all the time we think it's important that we pray together as a team not just for our success on the field but off the field as well and they're not going to let a bunch of atheists dictate to them when they can or can't pray but the freedom of religion foundation Freedom From Religion Foundation, I should say. They've been doing this for a long time. They don't really have any signs of slowing down. But you know what? We're going to continue to fight against them uh, because they are not the moral authority. There is only one real authority, and that is the creator of the heavens and earth, and that is God himself, which all people, even atheists, will have to bow down. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And that's uncomfortable for many of them to hear, but it is something that is going to happen whether you want it to or not. Guys, I want to hear from you. What do you think about these students rallying together, forming the prayer circle for the football games despite the atheist complaint against the coach? Let me know down below. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.